Hi everyone, welcome to Mama from Scratch. Today I'm going to be showing you these three Easter and spring decor ideas. So let's get started. The first one, you're going to want this little ceramic bunny. It comes in uh, this little case, a small plate, your choice of size, a candlestick holder, and a small cup or vase, your choice also. And then you're going to want some Spanish moss, or you can use the other type of moss, your choice, and then these little Easter eggs in different colors. And then I picked off these two lilacs, um, little stems. You just pluck them right off the main branches, and that's all we're going to need, and a glue gun. So you're going to start by gluing the plate to the candlestick, just putting a rim around. If you want it to be permanent, you can use E6000, but I like to be able to change things up. And just go ahead and press that down and let it hold till it seals and dries. Then just go ahead and take your moss, figure out how much you're going to want. And I just went ahead and glued this down also, just so that it wouldn't move or anything. And then take your little bunny and do the same thing, glue him down. It helps him stay because the moss is a little bumpy. Then I just decided to pluck off a couple of the flower stems just because they're so big and the bunny is kind of small. Didn't want it to overpower. You can use whatever color you would like. I liked the white and a little bit of purple in there. And then I'm just spreading the eggs around. Again, they come in all different colors. You can even paint them if you wanted to. And then this is what he's going to look like. Um, he's super cute. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and paint him if you wanted to. And then this is what he'll look like with the cup on. This is a cloth. And I think it turned out really, really good. So I like to just pull the moss out just a little bit, give it a little bit more of a rustic feel. And then I just placed a couple of the eggs on the outside, just again to kind of draw your eye and create different depths for you to look at. And it just makes it a little bit more realistic looking. And then for the top, we are just going to be gluing on the eggs and that will be like our little um, handle that we are going to be using for our clothes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first one. I think he's super cute. And um, my son actually wanted to paint him all different colors. And I said, no, bunny has to stay white. This is how he looks with my decor. Okay, the second DIY, you're going to want the Spanish moss or the other types of moss, a knife, a little foam block, a clay pot or whatever dish you want to use, a stick, the foam cone shape and ribbon of your choice, a glue gun, and then eggs. And I just went ahead and used the same eggs I used in the last one, but then I also took some of my um, just acrylic craft paint and painted some of the eggs like a blue, a purple, and a yellow color, and some of them were white. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just take your foam block, place it on the bottom so you can see the exact size and just cut it down to shape and just push that in there. And we're going to um, be using the stick in a minute just to it's going to hold our thing on there but we'll come back to that later so you're just going to start by adding your glue to it and then just taking the moss and wrapping it all the way around gluing it to the entire piece of foam and it is really messy but oh well it's just part of the <laughs> part of the project and you're going to do that to the entire piece of foam Yes, I know it looks like a wild hay stack, but it's okay. It will come together. So just start taking your eggs and alternating the colors and the heights and the tilting. I tilted some to the left, some to the right, some straight, sideways. Just work it either direction and it doesn't take much to glue it down, just a little bit. And this is what it's going to look like. I'm really excited about this because it's a little bit smaller than the one I saw at Target and I think it's really, really cute. So once you have that all done, um, just start um, by taking that foam block back out and gluing it to the bottom and then adding a little bit of glue to the under part. That way you will stick to it and push all the way down. The only thing I didn't show you in this was I actually glued the bottom of it to the pot itself. And then just go ahead and pick whatever ribbon that you would like to use for this. Um, I was having trouble deciding and then my camera died. So this is the end result. I just went with the simple layer. I think it came out really, really nice. I love it. I love the Easter colors and it just reminds me of springtime. So this next one is you're going to want a clay pot. Those came in a pack of two, a little foam ball or a piece of foam because that's how we're going to stick all the flowers in. These egg picks, 
They come in a couple different colors. I'm using butterflies, these daisies, the lilacs again, some peonies, and um, this other one, I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> and then again, you can use whatever ribbon that you would like to use for the pot itself. And you're obviously gonna want your glue gun and some wire cutters. So I just start by gluing down the ball into the pot and then just trimming down each of the flowers because my pot is somewhat small um, and I just want it to kind of fluff out instead of being super tall. And so I'm just cutting them down to size and starting with the butterflies and then just alternating with the colors back and forth here and just kind of uh, trimming them down as I see necessary and yeah. And then I'm also adding a little bit of glue to some of the pieces just to kind of help hold the leaves on and things like that. But you're just going to start arranging it the best way you can. You can do it um, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, that type of thing where you're alternating back and forth. Where you can just simply just go to your heart's content here. It just kind of all comes together. Then once I have all the flowers in, then I took my um, egg picks and just started rearranging those the way I I thought would maybe look best and I kind of rearranged them a few times trying to get the look that I wanted and then here I wanted a little bit more greenery on one so I just took the leaves off of the flowers and then just glued it to the pick and um, yeah stuck it in and it's pretty simple um, but just try to be creative with it and if you don't like it you can always take it all the way back out and stick it all back into there Again, this is where you can get creative with your ribbon. Um, I wasn't sure again which one I wanted. I was trying to play with it. My undecisiveness show is showing here a lot. <laughs> so I decided just to do with the one and just go ahead and add a, just a little bit of glue and glue that all the way around and then glue them on top of each other. And then I decided also that I wanted to put like a little bow on it. So I'm just using this regular jute twine and just tying it and then I'm going to use my glue gun to secure it that way it doesn't fall off because the pot is at an angle and will probably slip off once you hold it a few times. But yeah this is how this one came out. I love it. I love pink right now so pink is my spring color and a little bit of gold. It's just really really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of these DIYs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more and if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe. I have plenty more coming. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and God bless. Bye.